Hi everyone, Comic Reviewer here, this time reviewing on Star Wars The Clone Wars Shipyards of Doom. Now, the cover has Anakin and Obi-Wan looking badass, and Ahsoka wielding her green lightsaber. So let's get on the story. Now again, these are mostly kiddie sort of stories and such. Now, it begins how, in the early days of the Clone Wars, how things are going and looking out for things. At the same time, on an unknown planet, the Jedi and the Republic are battling what armies of the Separatists have. And meanwhile, Obi-Wan and Anakin are in the fight. And Ahsoka feels pretty useless because Anakin keeps pushing her aside and making her stay on missions. And Anakin says, Ahsoka, I need you on the bridge. Of course, that Admiral Yorin and that is just looking right when that. Suddenly one of the ships explode and he says, and Admiral Yorin says, General Skywalker, we have another problem. So all the Separatist ships, including General Grievous's, going for an all-out strike, so they have to retreat, and pretty much have to fl flee. Meanwhile, on Coruscant, Mace Windu explains to the Jedi and Kenzer Palpatine how they need to slow down the production of the Separatist ships. So they arrange that they destroy one of the factories on a planet. So Anakin decides to go along, and that, and that due to the this thing here will disintegrate them in a matter of seconds. So they go for the all-out idea, carbonite freezing. It's kind of a risky move, but it proves to be successful. So despite Anakin not telling, I mean, telling Ahsoka that he has to stay put, she decides to freeze herself against Anakin's wishes. Kind of a brave move, you think about it. So, meanwhile, on the planet of Shireno, the Emperor is speaking, I mean, Lord Sidious is talking with, with, um, General, I mean, Count Dooku about the Jedi's plan and that they'll need to prepare themselves for it. Meanwhile, at the, at the, um, planet, R2 is controlling one of the droids at a command, and meanwhile, this Womp Rat sees the disintegrating Bane, and it's dead. So it's kind of like that perfect cover. And so R2 gets, manages to get in, but the Overseer, the guy who's in the operation, realises that the children have gotten in, and that they try to shoot down the ship, he says, DESTROY THAT SHIP! So all the time, I mean the Trade Federation ships start blasting, and that they launch out all of the cargo, including R2. So by then, the Overseer mentions how many Jedi did they did he kill and they could win a medal. Despite despite Count Dooku trying to get him to get help, the Overseer doesn't want any. You think about it, he's kind of an idiot. I mean, he has no idea what the Jedi will do, and he has no idea how many tricks they have up their sleeve. So R2 pulls out Ahsoka, and Ahsoka goes in to get everyone out, and also he manages, he manages to pull out Anakin, and Anakin is not happy with her for, dis for disobeying an order. So Anakin uses the force to push these bug things away, but Ahsoka feels down because she knew it was the right thing to do. So in the end, Obi-Wan and the Clone Troopers managed to fall out, but one of the Clone Troopers' capsules have been busted. So they have to get him back later. So, of course, Obi-Wan and Anakin see the shipyard, and Obi-Wan realises there's droids. So, they can talk about how they're going to do it. They go into one of these outposts, and manages to take down two of the droids single-handedly, and manages to shut down some of the compounds to talk with and I mean talk with the Republic ships but suddenly it tries to cut short due to the overseer seeing them and that they and that he blows it up Man luckily everyone manages to survive but problem is now they know that they're on the planet so Anakin and Obi-Wan find out they find out something terrible 
They, they're using human slaves. Slaves who have families and friends to build their ships for them. So Anakin and Obi-Wan have to come up with a new plan, otherwise the bombers will kill them. So he ma so they manage to free everyone, including this redhead. Kinda looks like Mary Jane or so. So Anakin manages to save everyone, and so does Obi-Wan, and he manages to convince one of the slavers to help them. And they go in. So of course, despite Count Dooku again telling the Overseer that he, he needs help, he, he doesn't want any trouble, that he wants to do this on his own. And he says, find those Jedi. So meanwhile, Ahsoka and Captain Rex are pretty much taking down clone troopers and manages to get in where this giant lizard thing shows up. And Ahsoka manages to pierce it through the brain. And meanwhile, back on the ship, the Jedi are explaining that their plan is simple. Go in, strike out, and all that stuff. So meanwhile, back on in the slave um, area, Anakin and Obi-Wan find out what to do and that they can offer them to get them out of there. And they say, escape to where? And they say, we can't fight those droids. So he explains that he that they that this is the only way they can live. So the droids come in, so Anakin and Obi-Wan pretend to be pretend, pretend to be slaves, but the droid are cars and everyone finds out. And it turns out that one of the slaves that we're helping sold them out. So he offers them to give him extra food and rations for his loyalty, and this makes him feel pretty sad. So Ahsoka feels like there's still no word. They try to get out. One of the crone troopers is shot, and the overseer now has them. So meanwhile, the Jedi are and the clone troopers are all pairing in. Again, I'm going to have to end this on part one. So like, comment, and subscribe. Comment book review here. Signing out.